Samsung, proud sponsor of TechBusters. Welcome back to TechBusters. Every year, South African companies develop and developers are invited to submit their apps to compete for the covered title of MTN Business App of the Year. The esteemed panel of judges, obviously including Aki, myself, John Hula, Max Stone and Koja Buffo, put the apps to the test and last week the winners were announced. Live Inspect walked away with top honours this year and with me in studio to tell us more is Jap Jasper Van Heesh, Head of Business Development at Lifestone Audio that developed it. So, what does it do? Effectively, Live App uh, Live Inspect is focused on improving the accuracy of vehicle pre-inspections for short-term insurers. Uh, the biggest problem that insurers have is one is identifying the right risk assets, so is the 320 BMW versus 325, and then confirming that the car had existing damage or not at the time the, the policy was entered into. And you were saying you were saying that something like 70% of claims for short-term insurance are related to cars. Yes, uh, coupled with inaccuracy of that data, um, which is about 40% of what we've looked at, you can see there's lots of scope for fraudulent activity. So people are saying, look, my car didn't have, a, it didn't have any pre-existing damage. They entered into, ins into the insurance policy and then two weeks later they say, look, somebody bumped me last week. Um, so you, this app helps uh, remove that, uh, that uh, indecision and brings an objective uh, view of what the car really looked like when the policy was entered into. So run us through the app quickly. You, you, you can... You can, you can go through it, we've got some visuals on screen, it'll scan a, a bo uh, the, the, the license mm -hmm. disc and a person's co uh, driver's license, yes. and then you can take photographs of the yeah. damage. Yeah. What happens if people try to juke the system, right. you know, and they like want to put in a picture of something that happened to the bumper the last time? Sure. Um, one of the key things we do in, in the photos that we take, uh, we time, date, location stamp them. Um, so, for example, if you have a car with uh, four sides, obviously, uh, three sides are taken uh, in a certain location at a certain time. If a fourth photo is of, the, say, the left side is taken at a different location at a different time, we throw out flags to the insurer saying, there's actually a questionable um, photo taken here, look into it more closely. So we pick up potential fraud that's happening in that, at that end. And some of your, I mean, the reach of the, the, of the app already is pretty significant. We're not talking about a little startup. You guys no. have got a, a good a, a, a base of operation already. Yes, so we're working with some of the biggest direct insurers in the country. Um, they've rolled the app out to various um, tire fitment centers and glass fitment centers. So then st their fitment guys have the app in their hands and they're doing these inspections for, for uh, insurers across the country. And there, I mean, there are other applications for this, aren't there? I mean, you, there's the, the technology that you're using could be just as useful in other industries. Yes. Uh, well, we've actually got another app which was nominated last year um, for the MTN App of the, Award, app of the Year Awards, uh, which is used by dealers to pick up at, in real time if, there's, uh, if the car's been in an accident, if it's uh, got police interest in it, who's financing it, what's the value of the car. What's that code again that if you ever buy a car you need to double check on? Car ID. Car ID, that's sure. the one, yeah. Yes. So, so it's, a, it's very interesting that, that, that uh, there, there, there is so much fraud in the industry. I know from when I was a crime reporter that whenever people's cars got stolen, uh, I mean, this is back in the 90s, it was always a pair of Ray-Bans and a leather jacket were in the boot, always. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. The cops saw that and went, yeah, right. Mm. Um, this is just a much more efficient, sophisticated yeah. way of keeping uh, a claims realistic, right? Yes, yeah. It provides an audit trail, basically. So on this date, this is what the car looked like. Here's some objective photos of where it was. Uh, we, we have, as I mentioned, these proximity evaluation type metrics that pick up possible fraud. And then the insurer, when there's a claim later on, can tap into our system and look up that particular reg number and find out, yes, what the car really looked like. So there's no more objective or there's no more um, subjective uh, assessments of the, by the consumer, by the policyholder or the assessor. It's all objective. And what does an award like this do for your company? I mean, it's not really a consumer app, but it, it really must be a quite a feather in your cap to win something like this. Yes, uh, Lightstone as a data systems and analytics business, uh, we're always looking for smart ways to move our, we've got lots of interesting data and we're trying to move it to places where it's needed and where it's needed, when it's needed. Um, so what this has done is really validated that proposition that we've deployed elsewhere, but now in the insurance space. Um, and the idea from here is to build a what we call a self-inspect app. 
So instead of a glass fitment firm doing it, we can have the consumers doing the inspections themselves. And be be because of the fraud detection systems, the, f the consumers still won't be able to defraud the insurers. Great. Well, thank you, Jasper from Hish. We will do a, a review of the app itself and the other major winners, including Zappa and Sync Mobile and a couple of others. Property 24, one of the ones I've been using a lot lately that I'm very impressed with.